So I just got back from the Philippine Islands and uh, while I was there, I was there with Team Rubicon and we were uh, providing medical relief to the uh, hurricane victims. And uh, one of the things I did was uh, help kind of organize and set up a field hospital up in Caragara. So at their little hospital there, we basically um, helped out and almost, almost took it over because they really only had uh, one physician there and they, they she was really overwhelmed with um, trauma and these sorts of things. So we went in and uh, helped out and did a bunch of battlefield surgery and things like this. But uh, it wasn't all work and no play. I did manage to get out and uh, see some knife stuff. Um, some of the uh, more famous um, Filipino uh, style knives um, forged from leaf springs come from Carigara. And so uh, this is a video of what I saw. <laughs> So who says they don't use knives for chopping anywhere? <laughs> He's uh, processing uh, firewood for the family. So this this gentleman has a axe that's made uh, just from a bent over leaf spring that he's using for his stuff. So. And then there's his bowl. Let me see. So there, uh, this is a, a blacksmith shop in uh, Karigara. And uh, they've got a, a hand powered uh, billows here. They've got their little forge. They're just uh, burning charcoal. Charcoal. And then, uh, is, is that a is that a leaf leaf spring? Yeah. So he's uh, taking the and doing all of this and and getting uh, getting that. And then they've got an anvil here. This big anvil is nice and warm. And uh, they've got this kind of station. And they've got uh, a bunch of them that are that are about ready. This is their uh, sharpening stone here. He's kind of polishing it up here.
they're they're splitting it out. So this guy's uh, making sheaths here. They're, they wrap. Hello. How are you doing? They're custom fitting each of these uh, sheaths to a blade. They're sh sharpened. This guy has got a pretty cool and a nice fabricating distance. Yeah. Uh, this, it it yeah, and this is this is for our uh, viewers at home. This is basically where these are made. Um, this is supposed to be kind of the mecca of uh, bolo making in the area. Um, you can see there's many many of these uh, shops. They looks like they're done forging. He's, he's uh, heat treating the blade. Looks like he's burning in a handle there. So there's how they're shaped. He's, uh, that's a buffalo horn, and he's got it in a vise there, and he's shaping it. So, literally, this is like a knife making district. The whole yeah, we'll we'll swing over there next. This is that one shop that I was in earlier, and he's actually. Um, He's actually pounding out the blade now. So, hello. I'm gonna. When can they be ready? Tomorrow morning. Okay. How do you how do you uh, how do you stain the handles? It will be uh, use the this one, this one and then we apply, oh, sandpaper? We apply a polish. Yeah. Okay. This one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, how many are there? Can There's they all be ready tomorrow? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Do, seven. Maybe <laughs> this afternoon, uh, five o'clock. Okay, do you know the hospital? Yes, yes. Caragera Hospital. Mm -hmm. If you can bring the finished ones to the hospital tonight, we'll buy them. Yes, yes. All of them. All of them. How what? much are they? 800. Yes. Yes. All for all. all. Yes, yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Only this one. Yeah, what? Eight hundred per. Yeah. Yeah. Just yes. this type. Yes. Yeah. We'll buy all of them. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you will bring them to the hospital. 
Okay. Well, what's your name? Uh, home is it? Doctor Doctor Kyle. Doctor Kyle. Yeah. Doctor Kyle. And Doctor Ted. Thank you. Okay. 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 I, will, I will bring this. Bring to the hospital tonight. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. Bye bye.